Hi everyone, glad you stopped in today because today I'm going to show you how to upcycle this peroxide bottle into this beautiful bling lantern that you can use for any area of the home to create additional light and bling or just for decorations on tables or anywhere you want to put it or even give it as a gift. So stick with me and I'll show you how to create your own lantern today by upcycling. Okay, so to begin, you want to take the sides that have the labels and cut those out and also one of the other sides and leave one fully intact because you need it for support and I'll explain later. But what you want to do is measure about a fourth inch in, uh, mark it with your permanent marker and do this all the way around. And you want to take your X-Acto knife once you have the lines on here and just cut through with the X-Acto knife and you want to take it slow and steady tracing it several times so that it doesn't get all crooked. It's a little tricky, but when you're done, you should have like this where you have the back on and the three sides um, cut out. Okay, so after you've cut these out on three sides and then leave the back on, then you want to take it outside and spray paint it with the fusion spray paint that goes over the plastic, and I chose silver here. Next, you just want to put this aside and you want to take your plastic container and you want to cut out pieces like this because we're going to put these inside here for the windows. So next you want to take glue dots and you want to put them all the way around the top and the bottom of the plastic that you're going to insert inside the lantern. And once you have that done, and what I do is I just put about six on each side and two across the top and then you'll end up with them like this all the way around and you just want to start inserting them inside your lantern and pressing them to stick to the inside corner of the lantern so that It is inside. Okay, so now that you, you pop in your two side panels and you want the front left open and the back is still intact. But as you see, I've traced the marker here and I've lightly went with the X-Acto knife around three of the edges. I'm gonna leave the last one here because it's gonna to need to open and close like a little door to put your candle in and out. So you, you wanna carefully um, take your ruler and just keep scoring with the X-Acto knife until you get through the plastic and you want it to be cut just like I said on the three edges so that it opens like a little door and you can score this a little bit but don't cut it all the way through for the hinge. Okay so now you want to take these rolled stick-on jewels which I got these from Michaels, but you can probably get them from Amazon. By the way, I should have links below to most of the supplies below this video. If you wanna um, have easy access to them. But anyway, I'm gonna take these jewels and I'm sticking them inside around the back door to glam it up a little bit and to cover any kind of um, mistakes or, or paint chips or anything that had happened in there. Okay, so what I've done is I've lined the inside of this with foil just to give it a little bit more shine. And then I've lined it inside with those gems just to make it bling. I've also lined the back door on the outside with the same gems. And now I'm gonna continue on and we're gonna to need to put a bottom in here. So what I'm gonna use for the bottom is I have these nice paper plates that I got a long time ago from Hobby Lobby and cut out squares, you, you'll need two of them. And I'm going to put one in the bottom and one in the top inside the, um, to make it give more reflective quality um, for the inside of the lantern. And then we're going to save the corners. We're going to cut off the corners about the second bump in like this on both sides like this. And then Cut, it, cut each corner off and you want to have it 
like this where it dips in so that you can fit it around so that you can fit it around the neck of the bottle eventually. Okay, so now we have the bottom and top um, reflective papers in there. And so what we want to do now is we want to put the last plastic piece in here in the front. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, put the glue dots on and snap it in there. And then we're going to decorate it the rest of the way with these, these jewels. Okay, so now that I have all the plastic sides in, I'm decorating with the um, jewel tape. I'm just adding it to each side. And then I'm going to take these corners to those paper plates that I showed you earlier. And I'm going to apply them on each corner. I'm going to hot glue these on, um, on each corner on the top and the bottom. Okay, so now that I have these on the top and on the bottom, I'm going to start applying these stickers I got from Dollar General. And I put a few jewels on the center of them here. And I'm just going to put right where it meets in the middle on all of these. And I'm going to hot glue them on there in place. So as you can see, I put it around the different pillars of the sides. And then I am put these embellishments on here. And I'm, I hot glued these jewels. And I'm just putting the gems around the jewels and decorating more. And then we'll work on the top where we're going to hang it and also on putting the candle on the inside. Okay, so next we're gonna create the loop on top of the lantern. And to do that, we need picture wire, which you can get that at the link. I have all the um, items listed in links below to the best of my ability that you can just click and it'll take you right to it on Amazon. But you take this wire and you cut it to size, which is about maybe an inch and a half um, tall. And so it's about three inches all the way around. But um, to show you how, to, how I put it through, um, I'll just show you real quick that you can take the lid to a peroxide bottle and as you see this one already has a hole in it so you want to put another hole on this side to be able to run the wire through and then tie it on the other end so that's what I did and in order to puncture the plastic I took I took my husband's tooth um, pick thing and I lit the end like that and I poked through just to melt it through. And I just kept doing that until I created a hole. Then once I got the hole created, I took an X-Acto knife and I just spun it around and created the hole. Okay, and once you have both holes, like I said, you can run it through like this. And I'm showing you on one that's not painted because it's raining, it's been raining for a week and a half here. I hope it's better where you are. Anyway, I wasn't able to spray paint this one to demonstrate. But this is how you do it. You put it through, tie it on the other end. So once you have your lid with the wire through it, now you want to decorate it and put the pretty jewels around how you'd like them to go. And what I do is for the middle here, I take these jot push pins. I think I got them from Dollar Tree. And I just take the silver ones. I take one and put it down right through the middle and put the jewels around it. Okay, so now that we have the jewels around the top, we're going to focus on putting the candle inside. And to do that, I have these Ashland candles I got from Michael's. I like them because they're really pretty blingy and sparkly. But I didn't like the yellow wick inside. So I had these other ones from Amazon that um, have a whiter look to them when you turn them on. So I chose these because I like the, the brightness of it. But anyway, um, and before we get any further, if you have any comments about this um, project or any upcoming project ideas, or anything you'd like to say below, um, I'd really appreciate you commenting. Center, and I put a little thing on the door in the back, a little handle, and then you just open it up like this, and you can put the, um, I had it stuck with glue dots, so it was a little tricky getting out, but you wanna do the glue dots just to hold it in place so it doesn't slide around in there. But this one I got from, I believe Michael's, these Ashland ones, they're very nice. Um, you can get something similar from Amazon, I'm sure. And I think the link might be below. I can't remember. <laughs> anyway, um, there's also these that you put in the top. So what you want to do is just, you can turn this on and then just set it in there. And you you just glue dot the silver one in here so that it stays in place. And then when you want to turn it on and off, you just take off the top part and you turn it on or off and then you can just put it right back in there set it right 
sits in there nicely. Okay. All right, so we, we have our lantern. Our project is finished, and I appreciate you watching. And I hope you have a wonderful day, and I hope you'll check out some videos below that are on upcycling also that I've made in the past. And I hope that you'll subscribe so you can see future ones.